Welcome to AFTV. I have Ada with me and oh, it's lovely to see you and speak with you. And it's Valentine's Day and Arsenal have won. Yeah, my spirits are very high. Um, what were your thoughts on the game? Obviously, Bamin got his hat-trick, so I'm sure you're very happy about that. But yeah, talk to me. How, how, how was it for you? I think we started well. We moved the ball quickly. Trying to play um, Shaka with creative midfielders around him worked. So mm. we found ourselves not crazy about possession, passing backwards, but pushing the ball, being dynamic, being creative. We had um, Smith Rowe, Sabayos, Odegaard, getting the balls to the right spaces. And Saka played so well today. He was phenomenal in front of goal. He was. I mm. mean, I thought it was a really good um, team performance from everyone, even Bellerin, pushing the driving forward on the, on the right-hand right side. Same thing with Cedric. They did really yeah. well. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good performance. Um, so you said there, Saka he stood out for you. I, I was I was so impressed with Saka, especially um, he was faced up against Alioski a lot after he was being very not rude, but he, he had a big chest in the week saying he can't wait to play against Pepe. And we, we we put out we put out a little younger on him, and he dealt with him. I mean, Saka, who was he your standout for the get? Obviously, Abamin got his hatchet, but who was your standout? Um, Ada, I'd love to know. Yeah, for me, it was it was a great team performance. I could see mm. a game where. We didn't even have more possession, but mm. we played really well. Mm. All, everybody in the team um, did well. I'll, I'll give it to Saka. I'll give it to Odegaard. Odegaard played very well. And Ceballos. I like the, I like the, 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 the fact that he took the ball forward. He was that mm. person that was linking our midfield to our attack. Same thing mm. with Odegaard. They did super good. You know, so those players did so well. Good to see Aubameyang bag a hat-trick, of course. Of yes. course, but more importantly, we can't clap for ourselves. Um, we have so many tough games coming up, you know. Uh, yes. which involves travel. I mean, we, we are up against the league leaders, Man City. We are up against um, Leicester in the up in, in, in the other weekend in February. It's our first mm. win this month, you know. Mm. It's our only our first win this month. Um, we need to we need to take this attitude going forwards. Definitely, definitely, and aid obviously. I think, in my opinion, Arteta has a lot of tough decisions now because obviously Europa League game this Thursday against Benfica, and I keep asking everyone. I really want to know their thoughts on who 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 does he drop now? Who who rotates in? Does he use the players that he left out today? Was that tactical, or do you play the same team? Because it was a good performance from the boys. It was a good performance, but I have to plead with um, Arteta not to pair Gabriel and um, David Luiz. I think they they are more or less um, they have more or less the same strengths and weaknesses, you know? So it's good to kind of bring back holding, please, to give us yeah. some kind of stability right there. In the, I mean, at centre-back. And if Mary is fit, I would like to see Mary back, you know, mm. yeah, back, be nice. back, back in the starting lineup. Mm. I mean, Balogun is part of our Europa League um, choices, I mean, in terms of in case we need goals or something. Mm. I, I trust Arteta to come up with a good, a, a formidable team on okay. Thursday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. That was interesting. Your, your, I was actually going to ask you about your centre back pair and who you thought. <laughs> who are your favorite? Let's, yeah, who, who? Just quickly, I know we're going a bit off topic. Who is your favorite centre back pair? And then would you say Holden and Louise or Holden and Gabrielle? Who's your favorite centre back pair that you'd like to see? Just, I'll, just from the facts, the games we won between the Boxing Day and when he got injured, it has to be Mari and Holden for me. Yeah. Okay. Because no, when, they, when they when they are paired together. We win games, we keep clean sheets, you know, we are, we are stable at the back. Mm. And I would, it would be interesting to see them playing together and without, you know, two holding midfields like Pate and Shaka. Let's play them with the Shaka and the Ceballos or something. So it's free-flowing mm. football. We're not crazy about possession. We're not crazy about uh, clean sheets. We get goals, we, we concede goals, but we score goals at the same time. Mm. Look at us, we only have 31 goals Um this season, that's so poor. Yeah, you, yeah you're right. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're right. Well, it's so poor com coming mm. from Arsenal. So we don't need to be so scared about, you know, how many goals, clean sheets and all of that. Let's let's just play football and play to the strengths of our players. Definitely. Like, before we finish up, um, just when, when, when Leeds started to get some goals back, were you nervous? Did you believe, you know, oh, Arsenal could let this slip? Did Would that ever cross your mind or were you confident at... When they score the first one, you're like, okay, cool, 4-2. Were you still confident or were you a bit apprehensive? I was a little bit apprehensive, I have to be I have to be honest, as I'm mm. sure most Arsenal fans were. Because, yeah. um, you know, you don't want to sleep up a four-goal uh, four uh, lead, you know. Mm. 
I was wondering what was going on. Why did we have that little, is it like an interruption in concentration? In terms yeah. of, we, we didn't have attempts in 20 minutes. You know, it, it somehow in the second half, we just sort of, you know, cooled off. Well, good that we kind of um, changed up with things up a bit and yeah. strengthened the midfield with El Nene coming in. It was stable in the last uh, couple of minutes. Mm. And he brought holding on as well. I think that obviously solidified the the the, um, the back as well. So yeah, fair play yeah. to our He made some good subs towards the ends. Ada, thank you so much for speaking with me, and I'm <laughs> sure I'll see you again very soon.